My name is McLean and I'm a customer support hero here at eWay. Today, I'm going to show you how to create recurring transactions for customers in my eWay. Click on Payments and then Recurring Payments. And then we're going to go into Customers. Now you can see I already have a couple of customers set up, but let's go through and create one now anyway. Click on Create Customer. And I'm going to enter in their first name and last name. Uh, today, Bob Smith. I can fill in the rest of the information, but for today I'll leave it blank. Click on Create Customer, and that's how easy it is. We get a little confirmation box here as well. Now we're going to go into Bob Smith by clicking on his name, and I'm going to create a recurring schedule against Bob. Click on Create Recurring Event, and uh, just as a quick check, I have the option to either create a new customer or select an existing customer. So let's go and select uh, Bob, which we've already created. I can do a quick search by first or last name, or I can just click on the tick box next to Bob. I have the option to enter any additional information about Bob, and I can also enter in an invoice reference or description for the, the recurring transaction, and I also need to enter in his name. Now this name is for uh, his card, and then his card details as well. Uh, of course, his expiry details, and you'll notice there's no CDN field, and that's because um, third-party gateways aren't allowed to uh, store a CDN, and we can um, process a recurring transaction without one. Now, I'm going to do an existing schedule, um, which I've created at another time. You can see here I already have a membership schedule set up for $100, um, going for what every one month for two years. Now, if that's not the schedule I want to use, I just click on Back, and I can click on one-off schedule. Now this interface is exactly the same as when I was creating the schedule in the first place. So for the initial payment, which is um, a transaction at the very start that might have a slightly different amount to the recurring amount, say a setup fee or uh, possibly a discount on the first transaction, my initial payment is going to go through on Friday. And it's going to be for $50. Then my first recurring transaction is going to go through um, one month later, so on the 17th again, which is a Monday, and I'm going to end it uh, one year from there, so uh, we go through to uh, August 2016, and again on the 17th, in fact one year would be July, so the 17th of July. Uh, and payment is going to go through every one month. I have the option for days, weeks, months, or years, and of course, any number. Uh, and the recurring amount is going to be for $100. Now I click on continue, and I'm going to get a confirmation of the uh, details here again. And you can see here, initial payment on the 17th of July for $50. Start date on the 17th of August. Payment every one month running until the 17th of July 2016, and the recurring amount is $100. I'm happy with that, so I click on Continue. And just to make sure you've got everything set up correctly, um, we give you a confirmation of all the transactions. So this customer is being charged 12 times, as we can see up here. The first one is for $50, and each subsequent one is for $100, um, starting on the 17th of August, ending on the 17th of June. Now, uh, originally I stated that I was going to end it on the 17th of July. The problem here is that I was told it to end on the 17th of July, um, and because my last transaction would have been the 17th of July, it won't go through. So if you need it to end, including that last payment, you need to set the end date to the day at least afterwards. Any time between um, that last payment you want and the next payment that would be due is fine to set as the end date. I now click Confirm Recurring Payment, and that's now set up for Bob Smith to be charged. We see against Bob Smith a confirmation here of his schedule, and I can click on View, View Transactions, anytime I need to check. You can see here we have all these pending transactions to be processed in the future. If you do have any questions about recurring transactions, feel free to get in touch with us. There's a chat button uh, pretty much anywhere on the website or in my eWay, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thank you very much for being a valued eWay customer. Bye-bye.